Hello, I'm Jen Shakti. Welcome to my channel. Please like the video and subscribe so that more viewers will see it and the channel will continue to grow. Have you heard of geocaching? Geocaching is basically a treasure hunt using an app on your phone that connects to GPS points where a cache has been hidden by its creator. There are literally millions of geocaches all over the world. We discovered geocaching last year looking for something fun and pandemic friendly to do outside of the house. Geocaching is free, adult and kid friendly, and all you need is your phone, some basic gear, and a sense of adventure. So how about we go find some caches? Download the app that looks like this for your phone. When you open the app, you'll see your location as the blue dot. I'm gonna zoom out to show you just how many there are in the area. So the green icons are caches yet to be found. The gray caches are ones that you have access to with the paid app. The yellow happy faces are caches that we've found and the blue ones are ones that we weren't able to find. So we're going to zoom in and find this cache off Navajo Trail. When I tap the green icon it turns into a map point. Then it takes you to its own page where you have some information about the cache. When you click on activity, it will take you to the last people's logs of who have found it and what their comments were. Once you've found it, you have an opportunity to make your own log entry. Here's what I have for geocaching hands free fanny pack and inside I have my treasure pouch because in geocaching you can always take something that's in there or leave something behind I like leaving things behind I have little jewelry findings of things that are treasure like to make it a really good find for someone Various sizes help because caches are different sizes and I've definitely had ones that don't fit. This is a special edition series of little resin coins that we made and then I collaged little images on them and wrote on the sides some positive messages or interesting things. This one says, you are standing on an ancient ocean bed. This one no monkey business. This one says, Mama's got your back. This one, shine by day, glow at night. This one glows in the dark. You are loved. Smile. Stay awesome. Because you never know the person that finds it that might just make their day. This one says, the desert was once an ocean. This one, yes is the answer to your question. And this one says, you found the gold, beware of dragons. So once you're out on the hunt, the app shows you as the blue dot and you zoom in and it's quite detailed 
so that you can find that cache really accurately. Here I'm going around what is uphill. You can't see it from the satellite view. But once I get really close to that green dot, then I look up and scan the scenery, looking for bushes or rocks. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Found it. When I'm out geocaching, it's not unusual to find areas where there's a need to pick up some trash. So I came back the next morning with my bags to the same spot and gave a little love back to the land. I love that picking up trash is something simple that I can do and make an immediate difference. And I like to share that with other people to inspire them that when there's an opportunity to get that good feeling, why not go ahead and do it? And there's often interesting things that I find. It's wonderful to be out early in the morning. But this is an old, probably 50 year old can of RC Cola. They don't make soda cans like this anymore. So in this case, I actually leave it for other modern archaeologists like myself to get There's all fascinated interesting things with. to learn about history from old trash.
logbook. Let's see what I got in my pouch. Autobot glow. Glowing in the dark. Oh, he doesn't uh, fit. Let's see what else we got. Maybe a red prime. Optimus Prime. He fits. Okay. We'll put the cash 